what would you say if I asked you to tell me your best side hustle story? You might not be familiar with the term side hustle, but you're probably familiar with the concept. You might even have one. A side hustle is just a job on the side of your regular job. Or to steal the tagline from the side hustle show, your 9 to 5 might make you a living, but your 5 to 9 is what makes you feel alive. Tell me your best side hustle story was my request, and here are some of the answers I got. I edit people's dissertation papers. I run a catering company. I'm an accountant by day and a photographer by night. And if I haven't given you enough examples, just Google it. You'll come across articles like this one. 24 awesome side hustles you can do without leaving your bed. <laughs> or you could listen to the podcast Side Hustle School. Chris Golobo interviews people who make money in all sorts of ways, like this woman. Oregon woman gets paid to clean animal skulls with flesh-eating beetles. <laughs> that episode really speaks for itself. So we know that side hustles are trending. In fact, a Bankrate survey tells us that 44 million Americans have one. That's nearly a quarter of all working Americans. Why are they so common? Money, obviously, is a huge motivator. We live with stagnant wages and student loans, but even people who don't are intrigued by money that can be made conveniently from home online or in their spare time doing something like driving for Lyft or Uber. Or for entrepreneurs, the appeal is to dip your toe in an exciting new venture without leaving the security of your consistent paycheck. Or it's just being resourceful with skills you already have and using them to make money on the internet. But it's also more than that. When I asked people to tell me their side hustle stories, they talked about a lot of motivators that weren't money. Here are a couple of examples. One woman told me that she works just eight hours a week at her small local airport, and she does this because it's social and she has access to free flights. Another friend told me that she does calligraphy projects for clients because she loves to see their faces light up with something that she created. These aren't filling financial gaps. They're filling emotional ones. Why should we care so much about this trend? Because when I asked people to fill in this blank, I said side hustle for, these were their answers. Joy, fun, love, freedom, balance, my family, myself. So that's the part of the side hustle trend that I want to demystify today. So let's look closely at a couple of side hustlers. Full disclosure, I know a little about this firsthand. My first side hustle was a blog. In my early 20s, I worked in publishing, but my job was mostly administrative, and my cubicle could get lonely, so I had a blog, and it was creative and social. I had friends start reading it, and then acquaintances, and then strangers, and to create and grow something that was totally mine, and then have other people like it, that was really validating. It actually motivated me to write almost every day, and it became a side hustle when I decided to monetize it. At the time, I was sure that this passion was going to make me a living. <laughs> One dollar and 54 cents of cold, hard, Google AdWords cash later, my first side hustle was born. And it died. Um, <laughs> In hindsight, the blog was maybe a kind of embarrassing journal from a millennial 20-something, and I hope that it's buried, along with the rest of the social media posts I wrote before turning 25. <laughs> <laughs> but the side hustle skills that I sharpened with that blog, I use in my career now. And the spirit, that creativity and ownership, that lives on in the way I make my career choices and in the way I choose my current side hustles. I do have a better example for you, though. My friend Lauren embodies the side hustle trend. And in fact, she's made even more than $2 with her side jobs. <laughs> when I called her, I said, hey, what side hustles do you have right now? Not do you have one, but what are they? By day, Lauren works as a filmmaker. She makes films about crimes against humanity. And she loves this work. It's meaningful and important. And it can be dark. So after a long day of listening to stories about genocide and violence, Lauren goes home, drinks a glass of wine at her dining room table, and she becomes a stylist for a fashion company, the kind that sends a personalized box of clothing to subscribers once a month. Or she becomes a graphic designer, or a ghostwriter, or a photo editor. All of Lauren's side hustle work is fun and light, 
and it pays for other fun and light things in her life, like her membership to her food club. Those were some of her answers when I asked her, why do it? Her other answer, I have loans. I work for a nonprofit. Who am I to say no to an extra thousand dollars every month? And that's a good question. I mean, really, who is anybody? But not just anybody would stay loyal to tough nonprofit work just because it's meaningful, but a hustler would. My next example is Sarah. She's a side hustle success story, but it starts a little bit differently because she was feeling uninspired in her work as an attorney. So she started representing a direct sales clothing brand on the side because she liked the clothes. And she liked the brand's mission, to make women of all shapes and sizes feel beautiful. Well, Sarah's really good at meeting people, so she grew a big network. And her passion for her clients and the brand drove the business forward. It was just a perk when her side hustle income surpassed what she was taking home as an attorney. And now she stopped practicing law to pursue it full time. She works from home, she sets her own hours, she spends more time with her family, which is what she ultimately wanted, and now she's doing something that does inspire her. And Sarah shows us that when people do work that they love, they do great work. So we've looked closely at two people's side hustles, but what I really like about looking at them is how clearly we can see the hustlers. It's kind of like looking at them with 3D glasses. Without the side hustle 3D glasses, we could look at Lauren and Sarah, and you would see that they're hardworking and educated and professional. But put the glasses on, and we see them in another dimension. Vivid passion, creative business savvy, relentless dedication. And isn't it cool to remember that these traits don't just belong to Lauren and Sarah and the Facebook friends who answered my question. They belong to 44 million Americans. But of those 44 million Americans, there is a reason why I highlight Lauren and Sarah, and that's because they belong to two key side hustle demographics, and we have to look at the demographics to really understand the trend. So the first, no surprises here, is that Lauren and Sarah are both millennials. This side hustle trend permeates every age category, but millennials are the most likely to have one. In fact, nearly one in three do. And for a generation who quite frankly needs the money, to pay off the student loans, or just to kickstart new careers, or to diversify their resumes. They're flocking to these jobs that are app or internet based, and that are basically second nature to them. Lauren and Sarah are also both women. We don't dominate the side hustle trend by a huge margin, just a small gap. Kind of like the small wage gap, or that small gap in parity. They're is also a small side hustle gap. So we know that women are more likely to have one of these second jobs. Um, according to recent job bite and bank rate surveys, they are also less likely than men to pursue them out of passion and more likely to have one out of necessity. This is the most true for women of color. And this reminds me of all of the people I talked to who told me that they side hustle for freedom because a recent hyper wallet survey confirms that 86% of the women they talked to thought that they were more likely to achieve equal pay by working for themselves than by working for anyone else. So really to understand this trend, we have to look at the gaps. It's important to know that for every person that I talked to who told me that their side hustle lights a fire in them, there is another voice and it's saying, don't glorify the fact that I have a second job as a fun new trend. I'm doing this because I have to, because I have loans, because my job didn't flex when my family did, because I hit the ceiling. So it's not a perfect system. Let's go back to Lauren. She likes her side hustles most of the time, but she didn't last Saturday night when she took her laptop to a bowling alley bar. She was there because it was her best friend's moving away party, but she had a side hustle deadline to meet. And it's ironic because remember, Lauren's side hustles are what pay for her ability to do fun things, like go to bowling alley bars. My friend Natalie is one of the 16 million millennial moms, according to Pew. She and her husband are running three small businesses as side hustles at any one time. And she likes the flexibility she has to work from home. But she also told me that she makes some of her sales calls from a closet 
so that the client on the other end can't hear her kids yelling in the background. And I thought that was relatable. Has anyone in this room ever made an important work call from a closet? <laughs> and so have I. So that comes back to me. Last weekend, my husband took my daughter to the park because I need to stay home and work on my side hustles, the ones I took on for balance so that I could spend more time with my husband and my daughter <laughs> at the park. So this is the ultimate side hustle irony. I asked you why should we care about this trend, and here's why. Because every person that I profile today belongs to this key demographic, millennial women. And they present us with a fantastic opportunity. We can see with our side hustle 3D glasses that they are savvy and committed and loyal to important work. Who wouldn't want an office full of people like that? And we don't even need the glasses to know that this is the most educated, most diverse generation of women to date. We are outpacing our male peers in higher education graduation rates. We are closing gaps in traditionally male industries. We believe that we can have it all because every woman in this room and every generation of women who came before us worked to make that possible. But we, and millions of other Americans, are doing some of our best work on the side. So we have to harness this side hustle energy. And to do that, I have three jobs for us, three tasks. And the first way that we harness the energy is that we have to be aware of it. So I ask you to wear your side hustle 3D glasses because they'll offer you an optimistic clarity that allows you to see the passion and the drive of your colleagues and peers and future hires. And use the glasses on yourself. Find what is fueling your hustle and use that to be passion driven because it's how we all do better and more meaningful work. My next task is to invest in a side hustler. Side hustlers are fierce and sharp and skilled because they have to be to survive. So trust their freelance work, buy their services, use their products, or offer your mentorship. Because most of the people I talked to were either looking to take their side hustle full time or to give it up, if only their primary job could meet, meet all of their needs. So imagine if those needs, fun, balance, freedom, passion could be met with just one job. We need to show side hustlers, especially young women, that there is a pathway for them to pursue their passions and use their skills. And luckily, I'm standing in a room full of people who know how to do that. And my last task for you is to support workplace policy and support culture that supports women and men, all people, all ages, we need to support policies that embrace diversity and adapt to the changing ways that we work, live, and raise our families. Because that's how the side hustle energy can be harnessed in traditional jobs and not just side gigs. That way, people don't have so many gaps they need to fill. There are 44 million side hustle stories. We've barely scratched the surface today. We can see with people's side hustles that there are gaps that people are trying to fill, but we can also see the really positive things that they're filling them with, with flexibility and, for, and fire. Side hustlers are the real world response to tough economies and underemployment and boredom. It's people of all ages and all skill sets working to create careers where their interests and needs and passions are aligned. It's 44 million people choosing to produce instead of complain. 44 million hustlers moving forward in the face of wage gaps and glass ceilings and closed doors. It's 44 million hustlers hustling on. <laughs>